Hello. In this video, we're going to look at pitching a radio script. This is similar but a little bit different to pitching a print media script. When a journalist pitches a radio script, they need to think about two things. The structure and the approach of the pitch. Let's look at the structure first. Structure means the relationship between the parts of something. For a radio script, this means which parts are in it and how are they ordered. So, a radio pitch should contain the following parts. One, a summary of the story or a question to be answered. Two, the names of people who are going to be interviewed and what they're likely to say. Three, any link to current events. And four, an explanation as to why the story is important. Let's think about a story and use this structure to make a pitch. Radio stories are often personal stories that people listening can relate to. Let's look at an example. Imagine that a person goes to a food cart to get lunch every day for years. And then, one day, the food cart disappears and nobody knows where it's gone. We can use our four-point structure to pitch this story. First, we can introduce the story of the food cart and ask the question, what has happened to the food cart? Next, we can suggest some interviews with former customers, the person who owns the food cart next to the one that went missing, and with a market inspector who might know what happened. Then, we can see if this story has any connection with current events. For example, in the USA, food carts are becoming more and more popular. Finally, we can say why we think the story is important. Perhaps the food cart represents more than just a place where people eat. It's a social place where people meet, talk, and develop relationships. The second thing to think about when pitching a story for radio is approach. Approach means the way that you do something. Remember, the purpose of a pitch is to convince or persuade people that this is an interesting story. Therefore, the approach you use at the start of the pitch should help to make the story sound more interesting. There are two easy ways to do this. One, summarizing the story in the first sentence. Or two, establishing your connection to the story. Let's use these with our example of the food cart. The first sentence of the pitch could be, this is a story about a missing food cart and how people were affected by it. This opening would interest people straight away. The second way is to establish your connection to the story. You could say something like this. For two years, I bought my lunch from the same food cart. I chatted with the owner about football, I asked him how his children were doing, and then one day he was gone. This opening shows that you are connected to the story. To summarize, in this video we talked about the structure of the pitch, the different parts that should be in it, and the approach of the start of the pitch. The pitch should contain a summary or question, a list of interviewees, 
a link to current events and why the story is important. The approach of the opening could be a one-sentence summary to hook the reader or maybe a way of showing your connection to the story. Now you can practice creating a pitch by playing the game that follows this video.